All right, throwing the perfect New Year's Eve party, uh, you got to have a few basics, right? Well, Mary Schulte is in the house. Whoop, she whoop. has three, a three-step checklist for you. Yeah, the All right, the new New Year's Eve trend is throwing a fun and festive party that's enjoyable for everybody. And then maybe you also don't have to pay all that extra money right. to get into parties or restaurants. Mary Schulte, designer and founder of Open Home, is here with three things to remember if you are going to throw a nice get-together for your friends and family. So, the guest list. This is a big one. Right. Three really important things. The first one is the guest list. Uh, don't stress over the guest list, but I have two simple rules. If you're throwing a dinner party, Party, no more than eight people. You want everybody yeah. to fit around your table. You don't want to have to put somebody off on the side at the kitty table. Mm -hmm. And it makes for good conversation all with one group. So dinner parties, no more than eight people. Yeah. The opposite is true if you're having a cocktail party. Sure. The more the merrier. And if somebody's on the fence and you're not sure whether you should invite them or not, go ahead and include them. You never regret it. Yeah. And like I said, the more the merrier. That's a really, really great tip because yeah. also, I don't know about you, but when it gets beyond eight people or so, I start freaking out about what I'm going to serve them. Exactly. <laughs> and exactly. how to keep it all warm. Right. right. Uh, so let's talk about what to serve. Right. So food and drink is the next mm -hmm. of the three things. And the, the rule that I have is the smaller the group, the more f different kinds of food you serve. The sure. larger the group, the less kinds of food you serve. Mm -hmm. It's really simple. If you're having a dinner party, don't make something you've never made before. Don't <laughs> teach yourself French cooking <laughs> the night that you're having eight people over for dinner. Make your favorite thing. Mm -hmm. Make your grandmother's favorite casserole or a pot roast or something that you know how to cook. Your guests will see you cooking with ease and it'll calm them down and make them feel at ease too. Right. And if you're having a big, big party, have three things. Right. Don't go overboard. It's what you serve it in, it's not what you serve. If you have this plate of grapes sitting there, somebody can reach over and grab some and it's beautiful and they feel special and that's the most important thing. That is so true. I was going to say I don't think I've ever seen grapes look so beautiful <laughs> as they look in this bowl. It's what you put them in. It's <laughs> that is so genius. It's okay. True. Entertainment. Now besides you know you're gonna invite one or two guests that you know are gonna be entertaining but what, exactly. what else can you do for entertainment? Well entertainment's that thing that people forget about and mm -hmm. if you're well entertained you don't even know you're being entertained. Mm -hmm. So a couple of rules of thumb. If people don't know each other figure out a way to have an icebreaker. Oh yeah. And, Anything as simple as a scavenger hunt. Believe it or not, we've had scavenger hunts at our house before. <laughs> How fun is that? It is. It's fun. It gets everybody engaged. It gets everybody involved. Yeah. There are also these great games now. You can find them at a lot of different retail shops. Yeah. Trivia games, games that get people engaged, especially in small groups. It's just a good way to break the ice and get people talking. Yeah. What are some of these games? These are great um, trivia and party continu continuum games. Um, some of them are adult and some of them aren't. Um, <laughs> I see true quizzes. confessions right, there. That's, that's not for the kids. <laughs> that's for after a few cocktails. Right, but they're, actually, we sell these in our shop, Open Home. They're pretty. You can sit them out on the table. Most of them are trivia they are games. Really and they really Yeah, then they're, they're great icebreakers. Nice. And some of the other items that you have here, tell, tell people where they can get it or how they can achieve this look. Oh, this is easy. Mm -hmm. Go to your favorite. I actually got these at um, the Party Warehouse in Brookside. Nice. Just don't spend a lot of money. Right. Just go do something easy and disposable. Disposable is key. <laughs> that is so true. As we were washing dishes for Christmas, exactly. my mom said, this is why we do paper plates That's on Thanksgiving. Right. That's right. <laughs> Thank you so much. And Thank if you want to see Abby. more from Mary, search Open by Mary on Facebook or visit openbymary.com. You can have some wonderful, wonderful tips.